Attorneys for businessman Ishwagal Maran Singh and Steve Ferguson will be appealing the decision of High Court Judge Andrew Mondesir to deny the pair bail on Wednesday and are expected to try to get the two home for Christmas. On Wednesday, Justice Mondesir delivered a 35-page judgment detailing his reasons as to why he dismissed the application made by the UNC financiers, in effect refusing them bail and allowing them to remain behind bars. It's the third time the businessmen's application for bail have been denied. The state is being represented by a battery of attorneys in including Senior Counsel Avery Sinanon and Kelvin Ramkisun, while Queen's Counsel Mitchell and Senior Counsel Fahad Hossain lead off the team for the businessmen who have been in prison since June. Following the appeal court's decision on Friday to grant Galbrancing and Ferguson leave to appeal for judicial review to challenge the AG's decision to extradite them to the U.S. and stay their extradition, attorneys for the men immediately began legal proceedings to have them released on bail, standing before Justice Mondesir on Monday at the third criminal court delivering their arguments. But on Wednesday, Justice Mondesir found that the appeal court's decision was not sufficient grounds and was not a radical change in the circumstances for the two to be granted bail. Justice Mondesir also examined the length of time both Gal Bransing and Ferguson had been in custody, six months, as well as the decision of previous bail judges, noting that while attorneys argued they were not a flight risk, the previous judge raised concerns about their access to funds and the possibility the two could abandon their cooperation and abscond. He also noted that Gal Bransing and Ferguson was still awaiting extradition, although it was being contested, and the seriousness of the charges leveled against them. But defense attorney Queen's counsel Mitchell responded, saying he could not understand why bail was being continuously refused to the UNC financiers, especially since the state was neutral on the position of bail. The Queen's counsel also argued that the businessmen were human beings and it was not appropriate that they remain behind bars. Efforts by the defense are already in motion to appeal the bail refusal. For CNC3, I'm Melissa Williams.